everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig, and today I am really happy to bring you from hot off the press, two sets of cutting dies. One is new and one is a return, pulled it out of the vault. So this one is the Bird Cages cutting die, and this one is the Flower Frenzy cutting die. And it was so popular that uh, we brought it out of the vault and if you um it, it did it used to have a coordinating stamp set but we just did the cutting dies because debbie and i were such a fan it was one of our favorite sets so let me take a look here at some of the projects that we did with these so here is debbie made this adorable card using the bird cage cutting dies and the little branch with the bird on it and as you can see, she used um, Blushing Blooms Paper Pack. That's a new one from Hot Off the Press. And um, she die cut her little birdcage twice out of black cardstock. And if you can see it here, if we can zoom in a little bit, there we go. She put it down once and then put foam tape there and then put another one on top with the little branch and bird, uh, the branch with the bird on it sandwiched in between. And then she sparkled it all up with some dazzles, so very cute. And then on this bird cage, this one she used Country Chic Paper Pack, but she also combined the Flower Frenzy cutting dies for this as well. So as you can see, the bird cage here with the little branch and the bird on it. And then for the Flower Frenzy flowers, she just did a little inking on these and also did a little curving. So I'm going to show you how she shaped these flowers. So I'm going to get out my little daubers. I think I showed you these the last time we had a vlog and they just worked their way into my heart. Kind of a tried and true tool. So this one has a little uh, brown ink on it. And just by putting that little bit of brown ink along the edges, it just gives it a little depth which is really nice. And then of course on this little leaf, you want to do a little bit of brown, kind of heavily on one edge. There you go. And then there's a little bit of blue. This one. There you go. All right, now to do a little shaping, my little foam block here. And we've got a tool set. This is from Elizabeth Craft. It's got great little sets of tools. It's got some tweezers and a pick, and it's got this great stylus here. So we're just gonna just put it right on this foam block and just do a little stirring on that, and then kind of go up into the leaf, or the petal rather. There we go, and that gives it a nice little curve. I'm going to do the same, oops, if I can grab it here, with this one, primarily focusing on those petals to give them a curve. There we go. And then with the leaf, I like to turn that over and just give it a little bit of a cup shape. Okay, and then a little bit of glue between the petals. And we like to stagger those a little bit so that they are offset. There we go. And then of course she just put a little um, circle for the center there. There we go. All right, let's take a look at another card. All right, this one uses the Flower Frenzy die set exclusively and as you can see what's great about these petals is they just lift right up they have a lot of dimension to them there we go and I wanted to show you here is this particular shape and I wanted to show you what a difference um, when you're using just cardstock what a difference adding a little bit of color with ink can make I'm just going to take my daubers and put a little bright pink on there and then you can sep separate your petals if you like a little bit by pulling one back and just doing that side and then if you'd like you can get a darker color let's go for sort of a really vibrant violet color okay and then you've already got the first one and you can just add another color 
to the other side, the other edge rather. As you can just see, it just takes a moment to do that. And we're going to pull those petals forward. Go. A little bit of shaping, a little tweaking there. And then we've got this little guy. We'll do a little color on that as well. Okay, so let's take a look what this looks like as opposed to, okay, there's the side that doesn't have any color on it, and there's the side that has those inked edges. And I just think it, it just adds a lot just for just a couple of seconds of a little extra work there, and you can really make a flower look completely different. Here's the little center flower. And this one, I didn't add any dimension to it, just using it as is, really. Go. As you can see, just pulling those petals forward and separating them a little bit and adding a little ink can make it look completely different from one side to the other. All right. So let's see. Oh, yeah, this is a fun product to show you. Okay, so this is a, an adorable Easter card. And Debbie, what she did was... For this shape, use these products, brand new. Okay, this is from uh, Inky, An Inky, Inky Antics Rubber Stamps, and um, there's this wonderful stuff called reversible sequin fabric, okay? And it's wonderful. So you've got this beautiful rainbow Easter egg, and then it's really tactile and interactive. You just go like this, and it flips the color, okay? So it's a different color on the other side. And it's just fun. It's just very satisfying to just go back and forth with that. Um, so for this particular card, Debbie used a couple of different die sets. She used the 12 oval and scallops cutting dies. And she used this size oval to make her egg. Okay, And then she also used the bunnies and more bunnies, um, new from Hot Off the Press. And... Um, she cut those little bunnies or little hairs out of suede paper so they have a nice little texture so this card is so great for people who really like those tactile things you know and just like to touch so um, we've got our flowers on here and our little jewel dazzle butterflies so sweet so let me show you how to work with this product um, i'm going to use this is the fuchsia with silver and i've gone ahead and cut a little square of it like this and I, sh oh, I should show you. Um, Debbie went ahead and cut her oval from the card front, and then she backed it with this fabric, which I'll show you how to do, and then she just lined the back of the card with white cardstock. That's great, that's one way to do it. And then there's another way where you actually make a card topper, okay? So here I have my card base, and then I made a card topper, okay? So it's gonna go over the top like that, and I just used a regular circle die to make my little balloon. Whatever die shape you use, you want to make sure that it's, it's wide enough for the fabric. And this fabric, I believe, is about four inches wide. So you just want to make sure that you don't get one too large because it won't fit. All right, so I put um, extra sticky tape on the back and put that all around because when you lay this product down, you want to make sure that it's got a really good seal around your opening. So that's very important. All right, so I am going to remove all of this. That's finished. All right, so now we're going to take, and you just want to make sure that your sequins are going in the right direction. So mine are going up like this. This is my card topper top up here. This is the top of the sequins. And we're just going to put that right over that extra sticky tape. Turn it back over, make sure it's got a nice seal all around that edge. Then we're going to go back and put some more tape on so that now it will stick to our card front. There. <laughs> All right, so now we've got tape to cover the back. 
We're just going to place that, oops, make sure I've got all my little itsy bitsy pieces in. Got a little stray hair I need to cut off. There we go. All right, and then I'm just going to center that on my card front. Make sure that's adhered. And then as you can see, just play with it up and down. I wonder if you could even write, oh, well, look, you could write an initial in it. All right, so there you go. So it's a really fun product and it comes with, let's see, this is turquoise and red and fuchsia and of course the rainbow. So I would encourage you to give that a try, it's really fun. So we've got a great money saver today for the great cutting dies. So I would definitely recommend that you check that money saver out if you're watching us um, on our vlog page, the money saver is highlighted and underlined right below the video and you're watching us on YouTube, check out the description below and you'll find a link to the money saver as well as a link to paperwishes.com where you can find more really fun products and lots and lots of videos and tutorials. So thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.